Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. And today we've got a 2020 Mark Blanchard bristle cone here. Now Mark Blanchard is out from the Sierra Nevadas in California and the bristle cone is kind of from his region. So I've really enjoyed this particular body style and the tone of these is just phenomenal. Uh, there's, there's no other word for it. Um, now this one features a master grade Euro spruce top on it, which has lots, lots of headroom to it. But that could be things to what it's paired with. Look at this absolutely straight grain set of Madagascan rosewood. Um, I, I really love the color that's going on throughout this. Uh, it doesn't have that kind of black streaking, but it's got really, really dark elements to it. That's just evenly matchbooked, and I mean, when it's that straight grained, you don't really need a whole lot of other colorful elements. Um, this is a perfectly quarters on set. Now he actually went ahead and did do a center strip. Um, it's bound all the way around with rosewood, so that center strip is uh, a dark piece of rosewood, but he did this really lovely double maple purfling all the way around, but it creates these perfect miters and meets back down here at the bottom. Um, it's just gorgeous. Now, um, it does have a manzer wedge as well, so it makes it really comfortable under the arm. It feels quite thin here, but it's good and good and thick down here. Now, it has a ebony bridge with what looks like, since if you want some Madagascan with some dark streaking, he did a radial cut Madagascan rosette here, and it's got a lot of that dark streaking through it. Um, now it's got an ebony fretboard with these really lovely abalone dots all the way through. And what I also quite love is he does these enlarged mother of pearl side dots. So it's really easy to see where you're at on this fretboard. Now it's actually a slight short scale. Um, it's a 25.25 scale length, but don't let that confuse you. It really does. <laughs> It holds up quite well for lower C tunings and open tunings and stuff like that. That's actually grown to be one of my favorite scale lengths because it's kind of the, the best middle road between short scale at 25 or 24.9 and 25.5. So it makes it just a touch easier for the left hand to do bigger, wider chords, but also a little bit of relief on how much you have to press down to form those chords. Now it's um, one and three fourths here at the nut width and two and a quarter down here at the saddle. So it's a very versatile playing instrument. If you're a flat picker, which this thing I bet could really hold up to a, a lead kind of thing. Uh, or if you're like me, I just kind of prefer the finger style stuff. And this thing, it is a finger style monster. Um, now it's got a matchbooked Madagascan head cap here as well with some really lovely dark streaks throughout it and some gold uh, 510 go toes with some ebony buttons. Now as you could probably tell there, this thing just, it sings, especially the harmonics are really present on it and it's got tons of sustain I'm not sure how Mark is able to get that much power and sustain at the same time um, but it is it is quite lovely now it does also have some uh, gold Evo fret wire so this setup the way it is is gonna stay that way for a good bit um, unless you play for you know 16 hours a day every day you may wear it through them in a few years um, now this thing is actually set up to be played in a live setting um, I, I don't mean that it's super low I mean that it's decked out it's actually got a K&K &K Pure Mini 
but instead of using the traditional silver bullet as the Trinity, it's actually got the AKG 416, which is a really, really high quality mic. Um, and the icing on the cake is this actually comes with a Grace Felix. If you're not familiar with the Grace Felix, it's actually a very high level two channel preamp that allows you to fine EQ each of the channels and you have loads of options with it. It's actually my go-to preamp on my pedal board um, for gigs and stuff like that. Uh, and it allows you to either blend the two pickups together and send them out with one channel or um, in my case, I have a mixer on my pedal board. So I send out channel one and channel two separately that way so that I have an even, even more fine-tuned second stage of EQ and allows you to compress them at different rates, things like that. But regardless, the Grace Felix is one of the biggest Swiss Army knives for your pedal board or just as a one-stop do-it-all pedal, okay? So this is one heck of a deal to get the guitar already set up and have everything that you need to plug and play. Now, if you've got any further questions about this lovely Blanchard bristle cone, message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com, and thanks for listening.